to learn and see. Jump in, everybody come with us on adventure for you and me. With Scuba Jack leading the way, you never know just what's in store. You gotta help him find his treasure chest, is it on the ocean floor? Whether we're singing with the mermaid or diving in the sea. With Scuba Jack and Majestic Harbor, it's where I wanna be. It's a place for you and me. Everybody come and sit down. Good morning, everybody. It's so good to see you today. Good morning, Miss Beth. I have a new friend named Paco, and he's a pelican from Puerto Rico. And you know the storm we had last week? Well, it brought him here to Majestic Harbor, and he decided to stay. Say hello, Paco. Hello. Buenos dias, mis amigos. Paco is going to be teaching us to speak Spanish. Each day we're going to learn a new word. What word are you going to teach us today, Paco? Today I will teach you to say hello. It is hola. Can you say hola, children? Hola! Muy bien. Very good. They are very smart children, Miss Beth. They certainly are, Paco. And today they're going to learn something new and exciting. Very exciting indeed. Has anybody ever been to the beach? What did you notice at the beach, Mateo? Um, um, there's big, huge waves. Hola. Yes, Paco, I know. Hola means hi. No, hola. It also means wave in Spanish. Oh, that's fantastic, Paco. Hola means wave in Spanish. And what do the waves do? They go in and out. So when the water goes out, that means the tide goes out. But if you sit there long enough, the water's going to come back in, and the water's going to be close to you again. And when the tide goes out, you can play in the rocks, and that's called a tide pool. What does tide pool begin with, Luke? T. Very good. Has anybody ever explored around the rocks? Maria! Maria wasn't playing around the rocks. No, no. Maria. It means tide in Spanish. Oh, Maria. Did anybody see anything else when the tide Oh, Mareo went out. I see starfish. Ex I love starfish. Do you like crabs? How about seaweed? Do you see seaweed? Yes. Do you see barnacles? I see seaweed every day. You guys saw some really interesting things. They certainly have, Miss Beth. Scuba Jack! Scuba Jack rocks! I love Scuba Jack. Hey, kids. I like to go on all sorts of great adventures. Adventures way out at sea, and adventures down by the beach. And, well, I don't have a lot of time, and Say, do I have any volunteers for, to go on an adventure with me? Yeah! yeah! Miss Beth, can we use your bus? Sure, Jack. Great, well, let's go. Uh, Jack? Yeah? I think you need to take off the flippers before you drive the bus. Mm, you're right, Miss Beth. Much safer that way. Much safer indeed. Come here.
let's stop here and look. So we stop here and look at the rocks? This is the intertidal area. You want to go over and see what's in the pool? Let's gather around this rock, okay? Everybody know what this is? Um, a seaweed. And? Sand. Periwinkles. Here we go. Right over here, Bianca. Down here. Careful. Okay, that's good. Right there, Luke. Right there. Gather around, you guys. This is where we're going to check out some, some stuff in the water. That's a periwinkle. What's right there? That's a snail. Let's not disturb the water, okay? So it stays nice and clear. This is a hermit crab. Can you see? And inside it, inside it, there's a crab. There's another hermit crab right here. What do you think, Mateo? Should we let him go? Okay, put him back in the water. Hermit crab! This is called the low tide zone. And since it's usually always underwater, this is where we can find most of the sea creatures. Can you see this rock way up there? Can everybody look at that rock? Do you see what it is? I can't see. At that rock, the top of that rock is out of the water at high tide. So right up there is called the spray zone. And this area down here, this is called the middle zone. What about the tide? Did we notice anything about the tide? It's too small. Where did it go? Um, it's, we didn't pass it. Well, it's because it's low tide, which is the best time to come to the beach. You know why? Because all the water is gone. So you can see what's there without all that water getting in the way. Can anybody see what's in on this rock right here? I know. What do you see? Barnacles. Can you point at it? Cool. Can anybody tell me what kind of plants are down in the water? Seaweed. seaweed. It's seaweed. And <laughs> where did that come from? Octavian. Octavian? You know better than that. <laughs> I thought it would be funny for seaweed at you, Scuba Jack. Well, it wasn't funny. I could have really got hurt. You know my rule, Octavian. Safe behavior keeps you and me and everyone in between safe. Right, guys? Yeah. Sorry, Scuba Jack. I'll remember that next time. OK, Octavian. What are you doing with the kids today? Well, we're trying to discover animals and plants in the water here in the intertidal zone. Oh, so you're exploring a tidal pool. Yeah, we're exploring the intertidal zone. Are you kids having fun? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's nice to see you. You guys say bye to Octavian? Bye, bye Octavian. Octavian! Hi, guys. You're back. Did you have fun? Yeah! You did? Hi, Scuba Jack. How Hello, Miss Beth. How was your adventure? It was great, Miss Beth. We had a great time at the beach. The kids were fantastic. We learned about snails. We learned about the tidal zones. We learned a little about water safety. We had a great time. Oh, that's great, Scuba Jack. Did you guys have fun? Yeah! Great. We have a project that we're going to begin. I'd love to stick around with you guys and do a project, but I have some more adventures to go on. So I'll get going, and I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye, everybody! Bye, Bye Scuba, Scuba Jack! Jack. One! So what we're going to do is we're going to paint it red first, and then when we're done painting, we're going to add the eyes, okay? Okay. So it's going to look like this when we're done. Okay, everybody pick up their paintbrushes. Very nice. Did you see crabs at the beach today? Yeah. Really? What color are the crabs? Red. Red. What letter does crab begin with? What letter? Um, C. <laughs> Wow, the letter of the day arrived. Who wants to go open the mailbox? Luke, can you go get it for me? Oh, Why, thank you, Luke. Would anybody like to open the envelope? Come on over, Mateo. Here you go. Can you tell me what letter that is? T. Can you tell me something that begins with T? Tide begins with T. Excellent job, Mateo.
I'll take that. You can go back to your desk. Can anybody tell me some other things that begin with the letter T? Um, tide pool. Tide pool begins with T. Very good. How would we start working on some letter T worksheets? I want you to do uppercase T's and lowercase T's. Both. Stick down and across. Very good. Right here. Fabulous. Nice. Who could that be? Hello, Miss Beth. Hello, children. It's a pirate! Not just any pirate. I'm Captain Lucky. It's low tide and I've just anchored my ship. I've sailed the seven seas in search of me treasure. Those are some crazy shells you have, Miss Beth. Anyway, my compass has led me right straight to your school. Has anyone seen me treasure chest? There it is! Where? I don't right see it. There. Where? Over right here? There. Huh? Over there? Where? Over where? Over where? Over where? There? It's right there! Not there? Yeah. There? Right there. On your head. Oh, well, if anyone does see me treasure, let me know. Okay, can I have your papers, please? Thank you. What's there? Hello, my friends. Come and sit for a story. How are you? Good. Have you met my friend, Winston? Hello, hello. So nice to see you. I'm going to read you a little story about my favorite place. Where have you been talking about today? Mateo? The, the beach. Do you know that I sneak to the beach and I slide up on the rocks and I watch the children play and I watch you make your castles and dig in the sand? I talk to children sometimes when they're very good and they're very quiet and I ask them about their favorite things to do at the beach. And this book is called A Day at the Beach. I see many shells at the beach. The waves splash against my legs. I like to play in the sand. Look! I found a starfish. I love the beach. Who else loves the beach? I love the beach. Love Winston, do you love the beach? Indubitably. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much for being wonderful listeners. Now, watch for me when you're at the beach because I just might be sitting on one of those rocks watching you. Be sure to wave. You'll wave to me, won't you? Yeah. Okay, Winston, I hear the tide coming. That means it's time for us to go. But I'll be back soon to read you another story. I'm going to be chatting with Miss Beth on the shell phone. So hopefully I will see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye. Okay, let's do the months of the year. Let's put your fist up. Ready, Vanessa? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Let's do the days of the week. Ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let's count backwards from 10 to 0. Are you ready? Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2,
one scuba jet. Hi everybody. I want to thank you again for joining us on our trip to the tide pool today. We had a great time. We had some really great adventures. We learned... Hello, Scuba Jack. You're talking about my favorite subject. I am? Oh, yeah. You're talking about learning. What's better than learning? Uh, chocolate ice cream? Mm, no, you silly snorkeler. Nothing's better than learning. Now tell me, my friend, what did you learn about today? Well, today we went for a trip to the intertidal area, or the littoral zone. Mm, that's fantastic. Now, let me think. That's the area between the land and the ocean that you can only see when the tide is low. That's true. And it really is one of the coolest places to visit. There is so much to see in the intertidal area. Now, hmm, did you happen to tell your friends that it's actually broken into four smaller zones? Well, I did just a little bit, but I was hoping you could help us with that. Of course, if you would assist me. Sure, but you're not going to embarrass me this time, are you? Of course not. Now hold still. Whoa! An apron? We're talking about the intertidal area here, Professor, not baking cookies. No, no, this is a very important, special apron. This apron just actually turned you into the intertidal area. In a matter of speaking, of course. Now you must stand very tall and very still, for you have just been turned into a rock in the intertidal area. <laughs> the intertidal area is broken into four smaller zones. First, let me get rid of this thing. Now, up here is the spray zone. The water usually doesn't reach that high when the tide comes in. It just either gets splashed or sprayed when the waves crash off the rock. Very few plants and animals live here because it's too dry. Now, this is the high tide zone. This area is covered by water only at high tide and is dry the rest of the time. There is a bit more life in this area than in the spray zone because it does get a little bit more wet. Next is the middle tide zone. This area is covered with water for longer periods of time, so more plants and more animals can be found living here. Now this last zone is the low tide zone. This area has the shortest amount of time without water. It is where you find the largest number of plants and the largest number of animals living. So friends, let's review. So we have the spray zone. We have the high tide zone. The middle zone and the low tide zone. Thank you, Scuba Jack. You've been more than helpful today. It's my pleasure, Professor Galaxy. Say, do you think you can snap me up a towel? Now tell me, did you see any tide pools while you were at the intertidal area today? We sure did. You should have seen some of the things we saw. We saw... Oh, oh no, I must have left an experiment on the Bunsen burner. I'll be back, but I will send you my assistant. Hi, Scooby Jack. Hi. You must be Professor Galaxy's assistant. I sure am. Well, thanks for coming in today. Do you think you can help me? Sure. Okay, well, we were down at the tide pools today. I love tide pools, love the things in tide pools. Yeah, there is lots of good things in tide pools. And can you name some of the things you can find in tide pools? Hermit crabs. Crabs, starfish, seaweed. Wow, you really do know your tide pool creatures. Thank you so much for helping me out today. By the way, nice apron. Oh, I forgot I was wearing that. Where's Professor Galaxy? Professor Galaxy! I'm right here, Scuba Jack. How Whoa. did my assistant work out? Oh, he worked out great. He really knows his tide pool stuff. I really appreciate all your help today, Professor Galaxy. My pleasure, Scuba Jack. My pleasure. You are a great model. <laughs> If you ever need me again, give me a holler. Okay, now for our friends at home, let's do some real fun stuff. But first, you have to find a grown-up, and then you can log on to our website, www.scubajack.tv. That's where you can find all the cool tide pool activities and the letter of the day, which is T. I'll wait right here for you. All set? Great. Let's start with the matching activity. Professor Galaxy, could I have my easel, please? Cool. All right. Let's try the worksheet. Now, in this column, we're going to match the tide pool creatures with the tide pool creatures in this column. Let's start out with this hermit crab here. There he is. 
Now we have to find the hermit crab in this column. And there he is there. Let's draw a line between them. Like that. Now you can try it at home, and I'll do the rest of this worksheet here. Make sure to ask a grown-up if you need help. Winston, what on earth are you doing? Eating tea and toast, of course. It is, after all, tea day. I decided to only eat things that started with the letter T. I've had tomatoes and turnips and a lovely T-bone. Well, that sounds really great. You know, as long as we're talking about the letter T, perhaps you should show the kids at home just how easy it is to write the letter T. That would be splendid. Super. Well, you kids at home have an activity sheet just like this one. So let's try and write the letter T, shall we? First, let's start with the uppercase T. It's right here, and just connect the dots. Just like that. Now, let's try a lowercase T. Same way. Down and across. It wasn't that fun, Winston? Indubitably. Hey kids, I know how smart you all are, so I went ahead and put a math worksheet up on the website for you. Give it a try. I think you do a fabulous job. All you have to do is count the number of sea creatures in each row and put the number on the line. Good luck. Now, let's see where Scuba Jack is. Jumping jellyfish! Whoa! Hey, Professor, how you doing? Hey, why are you wearing the Tide Zone apron? Well, I was washing my beaker out. Oh, uh, well. Now might be a really good time to review the tide zones in the intertidal area. Well, first we have the spray zone. I'm not wearing the apron. You are. Well, I have very loyal assistants, Scuba Jack. Just my luck. Okay, then. First we have the spray zone. Then we have the high tide zone. Right below that, the mid tide zone. And then lastly, the low tide zone. Well, I want to thank you for joining us today, Professor. And I think we had a real good time. My pleasure, Scuba Jack. My pleasure. Remember, if you need me, give me a holler. Because I'll be there in a snap. Wow. Well, that was a really great time. We had a good adventure, didn't we? Let's see. We went to the intertidal area. We visited some tide pools and saw all sorts of great creatures. We learned about the different zones in the littoral zone, or the intertidal area. Boy, we really had a good time today. Before I go, I just want to remind you at home to visit our website. It's www.scubajack.tv. That's where you can find all sorts of great projects and activities to do. And we hope that next time you can join us in some more great adventures. Until then, we'll be watching for you. Whoa! Jump and jellyfish! Everybody, let's go.